What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the same right now. I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of RX Bar, Hint Water, Quest Nutrition, P90X, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25 creates 100% outsourced VIP special events or mini conferences for software companies or conference organizers who they want to engage their highest level customers or attendees or attract more of them. We do them all over the country. We hosted the events in the past year in Austin, Chicago, Santa Barbara, none in Canada yet, Tara, um, San Diego, New York, Sonoma, Las Vegas. And if your company sees the value of bringing your highest level customers together to connect and collaborate, learn more at rise25.com, see if your community qualifies. And I also want to thank my friend John Rulin for introducing me to today's guest by sending me a large package of their amazing products, Smart Sweets, um, because he knows I really care about health and I have two young girls at home who love sweets, but we don't want to deprive them of that, so what do we do, right? So we get a healthy version of what they like. Right, and that's why Tara created this. Um, you can check out his book at giftologybook.com where he talks about how to cut through all the noise and track more referrals or rulinggroup.com. And so today I'm very excited. Tara Bosch, the founder of Smart Sweets, and her mission is to help you kick sugar. She started Smart Sweets after forming an unhealthy relationship with food and seeing the negative effect sugar has on your health. And after spend, this is really impressive, Tara, the fact that you did this. After spending months recipe testing in her kitchen with gummy bear molds from Amazon, she actually innovated a healthy gummy bear. And they were able to raise $3.6 million. And in short order, they've produced stellar products that are found in over 3,000 stores across the US and Canada. By the end of the year, they'll be in over 10,000 stores stores like Whole Foods, Target, GNC, and many online channels. Tara, thanks for joining me. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so stoked to be talking. Talk about some of the missteps, some of the learnings along the way. Yeah, yeah oh my gosh. I feel like I feel like every single day there's there's um, just like fires blowing up everywhere and, and um and kind of I guess we try and approach every single day of kind of like what's missing or like or what what should we be paranoid about and what gaps exist that we need to address and and kind of the I guess mindset that if we feel like we have it all figured out which we don't then that the moment we think that is the moment where we actually are set out to fail so always um having that sense of urgency to find out what we're missing has been really important um there's been gosh there's been so um so much in the day to day and and the month to month, I guess a few um, kind of recent examples are um, one is we launched with Whole Foods nationwide in the U.S. and in March um, we were supposed to ship to UNFI the distributor um, by a certain date, and if we missed that cutoff date, we essentially were going to miss the launch, um, and we got to a point where where we essentially shipped and it arrived on the day of, so mm-hmm. within a window of 24 hours of missing this national massive launch. Um, another one was last summer, um, our e-commerce um, in shipping out orders, we quickly realized that our bears were melting on people's doorsteps. And mm-hmm. so thousands of people were getting globs of gummy on their doorsteps. Um, instead of um, the formed gummy bears that you know and love. Um, and then one, one that I look back on and I'm like, that was just truly serendipitous, um, was a month after launching initially on shelves, um, I realized quickly that I was going to run out of inventory mm-hmm. and didn't have the cash flow necessary to facilitate the larger run. 
um, and building on a forecast, I had listened to a lot of advice where it was like, everyone creates these astronomic numbers, be very conservative and realistic. Um, and I realized that I was way too conservative and way too realistic. Um, and I had maxed out our debt financing. So I was really in this place where I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be like out of stock for eight weeks. Um, and we were doing a demo in a local grocer here, met this woman, um, who was an angel investor in the food world from New York. Um, I went for coffee with her. Um, and then the second time I met her, um, we met at this like boutique hotel she was staying at downtown. Um, she and she just really believed what we were doing. I didn't have any prepared financials or decks or anything of that sort. Um, and she cut an $80,000 check in that meeting. Um, so that was a really kind of um, save my ass moment where I was really a, a matter of weeks from running out of product um, and someone took the dive and believed in us. But yeah, every single day, I think. You're like, that just five happened this morning. <laughs> All of this stuff just happened this yeah. morning. Um, <laughs> so how do you prevent, you know, when you're shipping it to hot climates, right, it melting like that? I mean, is, can you even prevent that? What do you do? Yeah, there, I mean, there's a few different things that, um, and I mean, Amazon is is one that's an interesting one to navigate as well, because um, because they can flag your product if it's temperature sensitive, and then you have to only ship seasonally, which essentially takes out half the year, yeah. which is a, a big chunk. Um, and so there's a few things with carriers where you can request a signature, for example. Mm won't leave it on a hot doorstep somebody will have to actually sign before they pass off the product um, so just little tweaks like that that make all the difference between it sitting on a front porch or it being delivered in someone's hands totally mm -hmm. Tara, th this has been fantastic Tara I have two last questions and everyone should check out smartsweets.com or if you're in Whole Foods or Target or any of these stores check them out I've tried them they're um, they're surprisingly healthy, right? When you when you eat a gummy bear, you look at a gummy bear like there's no way this is going to be healthy. And I think there's you guys have a lot of fiber in this too. I think um, as well, right? Yeah, there's 28 grams of plant-based fiber per bag. Yeah, it's awesome. So check it out, um, especially if you have kids who like candy. They think it's very, a very just a, a normal candy, and it's not. Um, <laughs> talk briefly, just for a second. One, um, I always ask, um, what's been a low moment? And then on the flip side, what's been a really proud moment for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I, I think for me, a low moment um, was the moment where um, a month, the, and I know I shared on this example briefly before, but, but a month before launching on shelves, our manufacturer dropped out um, because at this point it had been um, just under a year, so like 11 months of buildup of just waking up, convincing myself every single day before I got out of bed that I'm capable and that I'm going to make this happen and just driving forward when it felt like the wind was pushing in the opposite direction against me but just driving through that and then we arrive at this point where we have these retailers on board and everyone's exciting it's happening I'm like this thing is coming to life and then boom all of a sudden it's not happening I have no manufacturer or no way of getting the product to the retailers and I lose a lot of those retail partners. So for me, that was a really low point because it was a moment where I had to really dig deep and just sat in the office um, and, and just felt like really, really just forced me to pull that Crush conviction yeah. on myself. Yeah. So that was, I think, definitely a moment where I guess not even a low moment, but just a moment where I knew that I had to take that feeling of, I don't, th this feels impossible and turn that into, okay, this is going to be an opportunity that I'm going to look back on one day, which it did end up being one of the biggest blessings because it changed the company's name from Stevie Sweets to Smart Sweets. Um, the a high moment, I think, for me is, um, was definitely when we launched nationwide across the U.S. with Whole Foods. That was a really fun moment because that launch came from kind of um, thin air 
where a year before that, um, Fox Business was gracious enough to cover Smart Sweets, and the global confectionery buyer from Whole Foods just happened to see it, emailed me, and then this national launch happened. Um, so that was a ex really exciting standpoint because most of our tribe lives in the U.S. So from an accessibility standpoint and from a really manifesting the mission and what we're wanting to create for people, it was a big step forward. Um, and so that was a really um, powerful moment, I think, for the whole squad um, as a whole. Totally. Well, yeah. congratulations on all the success and future success and innovation. I know it's a daily grind. There's daily fires, but you know you have that mindset, that relentless mindset, just to to keep it going. So thank you for what you do from me, my two daughters, and people who want healthy choices for this stuff. And everyone should go check out smartsweets.com. Anywhere else, Tara, we should have people check out online. Any other? Yeah, Smart Sweets on Amazon. Cool. Yeah. Smart Sweets on Amazon, or if you're in a Whole Foods, I want to be the first one, Tara. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. What I got can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire. Came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.